Stand Frozen Custard Burgers Pizza Butterfinger. Monday through Thursday, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Friday, they're open early, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. And Saturday and Sunday, 1 p.m. Well, 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Saturday and 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. Sunday. So I just talked to the, uh, the employees here at, at um, the stand. There's a sign right there. They have frozen custard burgers pizza. Here's their dining room area. They gave me permission to film, so I'm doing exactly that. There's the kitchen. And here's what's on their menu. I don't know what I'm going to get yet, but I'm going to get something on here. And we're going to have lunch at the stand in Iron Ridge. Hey, everybody. Yogi here, doing well. Hope you're doing well. It's food review time. I am in Iron Ridge, Wisconsin, which is in Dodge County. I was filming an episode for Iron Ridge, and I noticed, I again, I'd never noticed this place before. I don't know what, what I was thinking or if I was just, my mind was set on something else, but as I was driving through the downtown area of Iron Ridge, I came across this little restaurant called The Stand. Unless you turn on AY and go through Iron Ridge, you won't know it exists. I mean, you'll know by seeing the signs that a town exists, but you won't know what's in that town. And that's why I always like to take the, the off-roads and go off the beaten path and, and go into these small towns because you don't know what you're missing. By the time I got done doing the filming, I noticed it was time that they were opening up. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna go in there and ask them if I can you know, do a little filming inside and tell them that I wanted to do a food review because it's lunchtime and I'm hungry. And so I went in there and I met Jody. She's very, very nice, very friendly, very welcoming. I ordered a couple things. I ordered, uh, it's all in this bag. I haven't opened it up yet. I ordered a couple things. I ordered a Chicago dog. I ordered some uh, jalapeno poppers and I ordered a cheeseburger. Ooh, it smells really good. I ordered a cheeseburger with ketchup, mustard, pickles, fried onions. I'm going to take a bite of each of these and let you know how they are. They look really good. Um, the poppers look really, really good. They give you ranch sauce with the poppers. Mm. As far as the prices go, I don't recall. Not expensive. Their food there was not expensive whatsoever, but boy, they loaded this thing up. Um, this is a Chicago dog right here. Here, let me tilt the camera a little bit. Uh, Chicago dog, you got your poppers here, jalapeno poppers with ranch dip, and that, that's a lot of food. I probably should not have ordered this much food, but I wanted to get a sample of the menu, you know. And then here's the cheeseburger. Ooh, that cheese melted really nice on there. And it's got mustard, ketchup, pickles, and I see fried onions, so everything's on there that I asked for. That's awesome. All right, so I just want to make sure I got some... Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar, not plugging them. It's not a commercial for them. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I had something to drink to finish this off. So I'm going to try the cheeseburger first. So cheeseburger from the stand in Iron Ridge going in. Bun is really nice. Nice touch to it. Softness. I see the onions are grilled really nice. All right, let's give it a shot. Looks like cheddar cheese. Mmm. Buns toasted. Meats cooked well. It's a frozen patty, I'm guessing. Um, it might be a fresh patty, I'm not sure, but it's not a it's not a it's preformed, so it's not something that they they just made on the grill. At least it looks like it's not something they made on that that's you know like some places make a fresh patty. This doesn't look like a fresh patty, but that's not discrediting it at all. Um, let me try another bite. My thoughts on this burger. One more bite. Um, the cheeseburger, good. Nothing's like overpowering. Um, it seems like there's a right amount of ketchup and right amount of mustard. Uh, the onions, nothing overpowers anything here. It's a, it's a very good classic... Um, cheeseburger with onions like I said there's onions pickles mustard ketchup on it very uh, very good on a scale of 1 to 10 one being um, 
terrible a 10 being um definitely get this i'd say it's an eight it's it's a really good sandwich and it's it's good good food good food but is fresh um again good good the pickles good another thing i noticed about this burger at least in that last bite i think they butter the buns when they toast them which adds to the flavor of the um the burger good burger very good burger oh that's a pickle the pickles almost look like they're homemade they almost have like a homemade look and feel to them which is if that's the case that's a nice touch or like a locally sourced um pickle as opposed to throwing you know your typical store-bought pickle all right oh boy um let's try a popper i'm gonna take a bite of the popper without the um ranch first and i'm gonna do it with ranch it's got an interesting coating on it it's um let's give it a shot jalapeno popper from the stand going in i don't know if the flavor from the cheeseburger has taken away from the bite on here but okay i'm getting some cream cheese now i almost didn't taste the cream cheese on that bite um i did take the whole jalapeno out now so all i got is a shell with some cheese some cream cheese so i'm gonna dunk that into the ranch so we kind of ranched if we got here so you get uh five of them for the price i don't remember how much they were seven i think seven dollars but again this is an interesting coating i've never seen them coated like this before the little chunks there's little chunks on there i mean it's i'm not saying it's not bad i've just never seen them coated this way before unless i never really noticed before i don't know so i'm gonna try one with the jalapeno in it into the ranch now because the last half that i dunked the ranch in the jalapeno was already gone so let's try this here i just want to try a little bit of the ranch dip on its own it's hard to tell if it's like a a hidden valley ranch or a lower generic brand ranch but it's good the ranch is good if you're expecting your jalapeno poppers to have heat these don't really um i'm waiting to see if they if they hit on the back end now that i'm done they're not hot so if you're afraid to eat a jalapeno popper because jalapeno is in the name and you're gonna think it's a really hot pepper it's not it's not uh final thoughts on the jalapeno poppers i've had some real clunker jalapeno poppers in my time these are not clunker jalapeno poppers they're pretty good sized the ranch dip is good i mean it's not it doesn't taste like a low end ranch like a, a generic ranch really watered down this is pretty thick it's pretty thick ranch dressing scale of one to ten one being terrible ten being the greatest jalapeno poppers i've ever had in my life probably a six um better than average we're we're doing good so far from the stand we're we're doing uh we're two for two on um on items so uh that brings us to this monstrosity holy cow i don't know how i'm gonna eat this i really don't this is the um chicago dog it's got the white onion on it sport pepper uh relish um it is on a seeded bun the bun seems a little hard i don't know if they toasted the bun uh i can't really tell going in yeah this bun is hard it is uh I'm hoping it's toasted, but if it's if it because if it's not, it's stale, and I don't want that to be the case. Um, no, it's not toasted at all. Um, the bun is hard, uh, so I will say that right now. Yeah, this thing's not toasted. I mean, this thing is like a crouton. I'm not kidding. Um, whoops! I just dropped a sport pepper. We'll give it a shot, but again, the bun is very hard. I don't think it's going to get that hard just sitting in my car for, uh, I mean, look at this. I can't even, 
I can't, oh geez, I just lost the score pepper again. Stuff's falling off into parts of my car that I don't know exist. Um, all right, I'm gonna try to give it a shot here. Can you hear that crunch? I'm gonna be honest with you folks, I'm taking, I'm not, I'm not gonna eat the bun. The hot dog is good. I mean, it's it's kind of, it's warm, it's not hot. It's been sitting in my car. I'm not deducting any points for that. This bun, I mean, uh, here, let me, let me. I don't know if you can hear that. Something that should not have been put on, should not have been used. Um, some of it was as hard as a, a crouton. I mean no disrespect to the stand, but this bun should not have been used. And I'm being honest, you know? That's what these food reviews are about. Honesty. Their first two items were great. This one. I can't even eat that. It's just too, uh, too stale, too hard. And that's a shame, you know? Even the top bun, I'm not, I'm done. <laughs> Does this mean I'm never gonna stop at the stand again? No, absolutely not. If I'm in the area and remember it's here, I will stop here. The problem is, it's in such a, um, off the beaten path area that a lot of people don't know about it. I was the first customer today who ordered a hot dog and the person preparing the food, the person who took that bun should have known just by feeling it. As far as the hot dog, the hot dog was fine. The toppings were fine. Sport peppers were Again, I like spicy, so to me, they weren't that spicy. I think I'm still feeling the kick from the, the jalapeno poppers. I really want to give places like this, those off the beaten path, mom and pop type, family owned businesses, as opposed to a conglomerate that serves terrible food and overcharges you for it. I, I really want to give these smaller places the benefit of a doubt. The stand, in my opinion, I ordered three items. Two of them were good. The burger was the best thing I had. That was about, like I think I said, an eight. The poppers, six, 6.5 on a scale of one to 10, 10 being great, one being terrible. The hot dog, ooh. Top, it wasn't a total complete disaster. The toppings were good. You know, everything that's supposed to be on a Chicago dog was on it. The hot dog was good. The toppings were good. The bun, the bun is what drink, brings this one way down. I, I don't know how that could have been overlooked when you're making the, the preparing the food. If I grab a bun and it's that hard, I'm not gonna use it. In my opinion, they shouldn't have used it either. On a scale of one to 10, one being terrible, uh, 10 being um, best thing I ever had, a three. Maybe a, f no, I'm not gonna give it a four, a three. And the only thing that killed that was the bun. But the bun's a big component of the, the hot dog. I mean, if you have to take all the, t <laughs> all, all the uh, toppings in the hot dog out because the bun's hard, well, you're, and, and again, I didn't even eat the whole bun. I mean, half the bun's still sitting in my, in the bag here and half of the toppings are too because i just <clears throat> didn't want to didn't want to finish it will I, will I give the stand a benefit of a doubt and go back there yeah i will I, I might just do a food review down the road and just order the chicago dog again and see if that works if it's if it's better the second time around because i'm not going to base this particular establishment on one food item that i had the people there were were, were great i mean again 
Jody was great talking to Jody we talked and that's my first time in there we talked as if we knew each other you know we were talking for quite a while the stand as a whole on a scale of 1 to 10 is a place I would go back to definitely would be a 10 and a place I would avoid at all costs being a 1 if you average out the numbers it's probably a 5 5.5 5. Um, maybe even closer to a six uh better than average with the with the first two items better than average but that that chicago dog brought it down to a probably a, I'd, I'd have to say middle of the road five that was my visit that's i'm basing this solely on my personal visit I'm not gonna tear the place down to the ground. I'm not gonna say, oh, that was the worst Chicago dog I've ever had. Toppings wise, it wasn't the worst Chicago dog I ever had. Bun wise, it was the worst Chicago dog I ever had. Atmosphere, great. Great, nice, friendly people. Um, cost, very, very good cost. I mean, it, it was very affordable. But that's gonna do it for this food review. Road trips with Yogi, the stand, and Iron Ridge, Wisconsin. I almost forgot where I was. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. They are all free to do. Uh, until the next episode, folks, take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. It's a crazy world out there. We need to come together. Until the next episode, I'm Yogi. I'm out of here.